you for the introduction. Uh, two of the papers we presented uh, in, in, in this morning told about uh, something about uh, about Roma, about uh, gypsies. Uh, uh, Dana Mihailescu, uh, quoted several times Koda Berkovic, a Jewish emigre to England and then, then to America. Uh, uh, Berkovic is a well-known author of a book about, uh, about the gypsies, published in, 19, in, in the 1931 in New York. And uh, uh, yeah, in, uh, in, in my paper, I would like to make a comparison between anti-Semitism and anti-Gypsism in uh, Romania in the 1930s and early 19, 1940s. Uh, uh, in Romania, as in, other, in, in many other countries, the anti-Semitism and the anti-Gypsism did not go into a synchronous rhythm. And there are many, many differences between two phenomena, phenomena of, uh, of ethnic hatred. Uh, Romanian anti-Semitism had a long history, and the papers presented in this day explain this long tradition of of Romanian anti-Semitism uh, with uh, roots in the period of building the modern Romanian, Romanian state. Uh, this, is, this was not the case of anti-Gypsism. This uh, phenomenon began to manifest itself only late in late 1930s. Initially only in some, let's say, scientific circles. It's about the specialists in eugenics. And only in 1941, in the government policies, the culmination of this uh, attitude being the deportation to Transnistria of a part, approximately 12% of this, of this population in, nine, in 1942. Uh, there are differences as far the historiographical situation is concerned. Uh, Anti-Semitism in Romania was started starting, starting with the period of its first manifestation in the 19th uh, century and have a pretty uh, rich uh, literature on uh, this topic. The change, the anti-Gypsism was very little studied. We do not have a book. We have some chapters or part of chapters with, with very general general um, opinion opinions about uh, anti-gypsism in uh, in uh, uh, Romania. And I must say that many of the appreciations made on this topic are far away from being true. Yeah. Author. Uh, Romanian and foreigners a little familiarized with the Romanian realities, preoccupied more about uh, uh, getting registered in a pre-established historiographical scheme where anti-Gypsism as an ideology and political practice must precede uh, the persecution measures in the Second World War, wrote that in the interwar Romania there was a terrible anti-Gypsism, a general hatred atmosphere against the Gypsies, which led to the persecution against the Gypsies in Antonescu's uh, government, government years. Uh, These uh, asser <coughs> assertions are completely uh, Hazardous, they do not have anything to deal with the historical uh, reality. Um, uh, 
an acknowledgement easy to make by anyone who knows Romania in the interwar period is that in the Romanian society and, and politics of that time, we have anti-Semitism, but not anti-Gypsyism. It's true we have prejudices in, uh, related to the Gypsies in that time and today, mainly being a result of the particular history of slavery of this population in Romania. But, but these prejudices, in my opinion, does not uh, uh, mean anti-Gypsyism. In the political uh, environments, we cannot, cannot detect an, uh, anti-Gypsyism, Gypsy opinion in the 1930s. Uh, racist ideas regarding the Gypsies promoted at the end of the 1930s and the beginning of the, of the 1940s by some Romanian representative of uh, eugenics. It's about Yodake Fokawaru, the only Romanian specialist in, uh, in, in, gypsy, in, in, in the so-called gypsy issues in, in, in that time, did not circulate and they did not have an echo in the political circles in that time. How is this difference explained? Why did we have a more and more virulent anti-Semitism in Romania in that time, but not anti-Gypsyism? One of the explanations for this difference is the different perception of the Romanian policymakers on the two minorities. Uh, Romanian na nationalists made a hierarchy of minorities according to their position, uh, what was considered to be their, their position towards the Romanian national state. Unlike minorities with centrifugal tendency, this was the terminology of the time. It's about Russians, Hungarians, Bulgarians, and Ukrainians, considered as having an irredentist potential. And unlike the Jews, who are considered an economical and political tree, the Gypsies, the Roma, who had no political claims, were not considered as a danger. Consequently, there was no Gypsy problem to speak of in Greater Romania, as was a Jewish problem. Um, the perception regarding the Roma, the Gypsies, on the level of the Romanian political class was a special one. The gypsies were not seen as an ethnical minority in the true meaning of the word, like Hungarians and other, other minorities. The social situation, especially to the Roma, most of whom were living on the outskirts of the Romanian rural communities, their relations with the Romanian population the very intense process of linguistic and ethnic assimilation which took place in the interior period were making the Roma people be considered more like a social category than an ethnic minority. Social studies published in 1930s by the Romanian sociologists viewed the Roma as holy, and I quote here, a middle ground between the minorities and the Romanians, and constituting, uh, another quotation, a special category, not so much in ethnic terms as in economic and social terms. We have a pretty large, pretty good literature, sociological literature, on gypsies in the, the interior period. The politicians did not view uh, this, this group, this population group, uh, otherwise. That's why when in 1930s the Romanian state created bodies which dealt especially with the ethnic minorities, the Roma were not taken into consideration. Both the state, the state sub 
subsecretariat for minorities organized in 1931, and uh, later the general commissariat for minorities established in 1938, never considered the gypsies within the scope of their jurisdiction. The politics of greater, of greater Romanian's governments towards minorities didn't refer to them. The legislation regarding minority doesn't mention them at all. Interwar Romanian nationalism was not accom accompanied by, by anti-Gypsy manifestations, and later the Romanianization policies promoted by the Goga Kuza government in 19, uh, 1939 and then uh, during the dictatorship of uh, King Carol II did not, did not apply to the gypsies. Before 1940, actually before 1941, there was no specific politics in Romania towards the Roma. I guess a clear proof of the different perception related to the gypsies is represented by the relationships of the Roma organizations to the Romanian political parties. In uh, 1933 and 1934, several Roma organizations organization were established in, in Romania, some of them with the support of the Romanian district and local uh, ad administration, uh, <coughs> organization the, which promoted the interests of this, of this uh, population in terms of economy, in terms of uh, culture. They published some newspaper, papers, books, in, some of them in uh, Romanes, in uh, Romani, Romani uh, language. Language. Uh, in 1930s, uh, there were contacts between the Roma, these Roma organizations, and the Romanian political parties. The political parties, right and left, played around the Roma organization ever since they were created in 1933-34 for the votes, uh, uh, this organization would, uh, would uh, bring, of course. The most notorious cooperation of this type was with the National Christian Party. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Raul, Raul Pesucha uh, talked about, uh, about uh, the League for, League for National Christian Defense, organized by uh, by Ace, by Cusa, Alexandro, Alexandro Cusa. In 1935, this party, political party, together with another nationalistic party, uh, organized, they merged and, and, and organized a new, a new extreme right uh, party, the National Christian Party. Party. It was a fascist and uh, a vehemently anti. Semitic party led by Octavian Goga, the Prime Minister in 1937-38, uh, and Alexandru Kuza. Alexandru in 1937, two important Roma leaders had close ties with uh, the, National, the National Christian Party and entered an agreement with, uh, with uh, this, uh, uh, this party. Uh, the Roma became a problem only in Antonescu's period after, after September 19, 1940, but not from the, from, from, from the beginning. I have mentioned that the deportation referred to certain segments of the Roma population, namely the ones considered non assimilating. Oh, the assimilation of whom was not desired. This is the terminology of the policy makers of, of, that, uh, of that time. Uh, 
the Roma also had good uh, relations with the legionaries to the iron, a bit later, iron, iron court, the pro-German oriented fascist, fascist party. Uh, in, the, uh, in the fall of 1933, uh, needed support for setting up uh, one of the Roma organizations, the Union, the General Union of the Roma in Romania. This was, uh, this was the name of the, of the, of the organization. <coughs> the president of this organization resorted to the legendary students, the people mentioned there, and some of the, name, of the names mentioned, mentioned by Mr. Mr. Christocha, uh, supported in that time the Roma to organize, to create a modern, let's say, modern, modern organization with logistics, with uh, 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 press, and, and, and so on. And Cornelio Zelia, Zelia Cotrano was chosen honorific member of the union, and he remained a honorific member of the of the main Roma organization in that time, and his name is mentioned in. Roma publications and, and so on. The legionaries raised the problem of adopting a racial politics towards the gypsies only after they seized the power in September 1940 and formed the cabinet together with Marshal Antonescu and some mili mili militaries. Uh, the first anti anti uh, the first, the, the main legendary anti-Gypsy gypsy attitude was an article published in January 18, 1941. This is a couple of days uh, before the re rebellion of, uh, of, of January 19, uh, 1941, after which the legendaries were chased from, uh, from, from power. In that, in, in that day, an article was published in, uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, the newspaper, The War, in, in the official publication of the modern world. An article published by Lido Stang, professor of theology in, in Sibiu. Uh, an article with the title, Racist Towards the Gypsies. The article, we have only uh, only one article of this, of this kind. The article, surprisingly, discovers that gypsies were not regarded by the legionaries who hadn't dealt at all with the problem this population would have represented. Uh, the article, written in a very aggressive manner, declared the gypsy problem to be a priority among the problems face, uh, facing the national legionary state. It demanded for marriages between Romanians and gypsies to be forbidden, and then to gradually is isolate the gypsies into some kind of ghettos. Yet, uh, during the legionary government, no specific anti-gypsy measures were taken against this population. The anti-minority politics of the legionary movement applied to the Jews and other minorities, not, not to the Roma. Uh, I would like to emphasize a, a bit the, the anti-Semitic attitudes of the Roma leaders in uh, in Romania in 1930s, uh, let's say the gypsy anti-Semitism yeah, is not a contradiction, contradiction for the Romanian politics in, in that time. Uh, during the 1937 election campaign, the uh, National Christian Party daily, Tsaranos, our country, yeah, we, have, we have seen an, a poster, a poster Yes, uh, uh, published in that uh, in that journal, in, in, in that journal with Jewish and Jewish face and and and, and, and so on. Uh, uh, this journal uh, printed a special weekly for the Roma in Romania. 
the publication was issued each Sunday in Romania, but the title was, was done in, a, in a Romanes language too, with Romanes title. Uh, then the newspaper asked the Roma to support uh, uh, the National Christian Party. Tsara uh, Nostra, our country, which bore swastika near the title, was more than an electoral manifest, a chronicle of the Roma's electoral meetings organized in, for the country under the patronage of uh, the National Christian Party. It made massive propaganda for uh, this party's ideas. Uh, the journal hosted articles with uh, anti semi content, some of them written by the Roma leaders and the Roma intellectuals, because some of the Roma leaders, the, 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 the staff of this organization, were represented by people of Roma origin with uh, university diploma, uh, some journalists, and, uh, and uh, so on. Uh, the Roma leaders involved themselves in an anti-Semitic discourse that seemed normal in uh, Romania at, at that time. Sometimes they accused in these articles, they accused the Jews for the difficult situation the Roma were living in. Uh, I, quote, I quote from a press article reproducing uh, the speech of a Roma leader. If, if we are so poor in a rich country, this is largely because the Jewish press, which was only running for the interest of the Jewish and the sanitized people. Yeah, uh, this discourse and the language is is very representative, not only for for this uh, for this journal or, or for this weekly. Uh, nation, nation, nationalist and anti-Semitic ideas, which forms the base of the National Christian Party politics, and which were taken up by the Roma leaders are clearly expressed in the press articles and in the uh, speeches. I think a good study, a good paper can be, can be made on this, uh, on this press, uh, press uh, articles. The anti-Semitic speech of most Roma leaders is partially explained, I believe, by their desire of emphasizing the special position the Roma had in the perception of the Romanian, of the Romanian public. It was actually, in my opinion, a strategy to provide access to certain political, political uh, milieus. Anti-Semite attitudes from Roma, from Gypsies, we can find also in 1942-1944 in the petitions signed by Roma deported to Transnistria or uh, threatened with uh, uh, deportation. Petition addressed to authorities, some of them to Marshal Antonescu, where they protest against deportation and comply that the authorities treat them like Jews. I want I want to quote from a, a somehow neutral document because it's, it's, it's an official document. I, I cannot uh, I cannot reproduce a very uh, very aggressive and bar barbaric uh, speech of the of the of the this uh, common 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 Roma. Uh, yeah, this I, I, I quote from this neutral document coming from from uh, uh, regional inspector, inspectorate of the police, Alba Iulia, somewhere in, in Pennsylvania, a report from, from September 30th, 1942, yeah, with respect to the mood 
of the uh, gypsies on the territory of this inspectorate, in, in that area of Transylvania. It is mentioned here that the deportation of the uh, gypsies to Transnistria has produced panic. They fear that all gypsies will be deported to Transnistria. In some, in some towns, they started to sell their belong belongings. Uh, the gypsies are puzzled, sustaining that they, and I quote here, have proven on all occasions to have a loyal attitude towards the country, yeah, of course. And now they see how they are disregarded and deported like a Jewish category. Uh, the Roman leaders, the Roman intellectuals, in a certain way, in their correspondence with the, the, the authorities, uh, in each intervention, they, 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 they mention this, uh, uh, yes, this, this uh, they compare their situation with that of the, of the uh, Jews. A matter which was not studied is that of the Jews' attitude towards the Gypsies. If there was a Jewish anti-Gypsism, as we have uh, a Roma uh, anti semitism oh, we have a few of Gypsies. Uh, the topic is not uh, is not a present present one. I'm sure that uh, on the documents on the documents in the Romanian archives in. in the Romanian press, some of them published in different in different collections. We can do, do such such uh, research. I, I'm not to talking here about uh, about uh, living together, Roma and and, and Jews in uh, uh, in the town uh, outskirts, inhabited mainly mainly by this population, these two population groups, because. Uh, here things can be studied and in the in the in, in the in, in the literature, Romanian literature and Romanian poetry and so on. We have some elements we can help us to to make such a research. But about the way the Jewish press of, of 1930 and also during 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 the war uh, speaks about uh, about the gypsies and the attitude of the Jews towards the deportation of gypsies to uh, Transnistria. I think, yeah. Um, um, I have only, only mentioned the racism against the gypsies promoted by representative of uh, that science, science in that time, eugenics. Um, uh, in late 1930s, Yotake Fukawaru, uh, uh, in that time the only proponent of racial research in Romania, a bit later, the number of this of this specialist uh, was a bit uh, a bit uh, a bit bigger. Uh, he regarded gypsies and and as an inferior minority and a plague for Romanian society. He spoke of the danger that the ongoing assimilation of the gypsies would have represented for the racial purity of Romanians. He accused in his papers, and I put here, uh, the tolerant disposition of the Romanian people in this respect. And also, I put again, the absence of any legal restriction upon the gypsies, and also the indigent attitude of the government and the administrative authorities towards them. We can see here in these accusations which, which was 
the real uh, relation between Romanian population and gypsies, or between Romanian administration and, and politics and gypsies, uh, before 1939-40, when, when, when this article was published. In uh, 1941, in January, in, in, in 1941, another eugenicist uh, advanced as a solution the internment, the internment of the nomadic and semi-nomadic gypsies in forced labor camps and their sterilization. That was another, a new, a new step. I must nevertheless remark that such opinions yeah, I will finish in one minute that such opinions on gypsies did not benefit from a wide circulation in indoor Romania for many years Yorgaki Fokowal was the only one who expressed, expressed such ideas and who supported, supported these, uh, these ideas the political circles including here the extreme right, including here the National Christian Party and the Legionary Movement, the press and public opinion were reluctant to accept these ideas. Such racist ideas were not adopted, not even by the Antonescu government during the Second World War. When in 1942, the Romanian government deported a part of the Roma population to Transnistria. This measure was never motiv motivated by the authorities with racial arguments. That's because the deportation fundamentally belonged, we are in 1942, it's about the population policy introduced by the Antonescu government, the ethnic cleansing, cleansing policy. Um, uh, yes, the deportation of Roma belonged to the ethnic project of Antonescu's government, which meant achieving the ethnic homogeneity of the country by transferring all minorities out of the country and bringing back the Romanians, the ethnic Romanians, uh, from the neighboring countries. This project aimed at all minority population, and it wasn't racially motivated. Uh, in the period preceding World War II, the ideas regarding the gypsies launched in certain academic media had no echo in the politicians, uh, at the politicians' level and did not hinder the contacts between political parties of various orientations and the Roma's organizations. Thank you very much for your attention.